Let's start with literature. The books of Elie Wiesel and the Diary of Anne Frank are well known. Perhaps less known, but also significant, is Mouse, a survivor's tale. The graphic novel by Art Spiegelman. The Jews are represented as mice, the Nazis as cats, and the American GIs as dogs. It's moving and witty, and remains the only comic book to ever win the Pulitzer Prize. Now, how about using humor to deal with the Holocaust? And who better to mine such potentially uncomfortable material than Larry David? Are you Jewish? You want to check my penis? On Curb Your Enthusiasm, he pulled off a scene that was hilarious and also posed an important cultural question. I want to know what a Jew is whistling Wagner Do you for want to when know? he was one of the great anti-Semites of the world. At what point is it OK for Jews to enjoy Wagner again? You know what you are? What am I? You're a self? Loathing Jew. Am I? Oh, well, yes, 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 yes. I do hate myself, you, yes. but it has nothing to do with being Jewish. He did it again with the Survivor episode. And how did that work? Well, he took history and put it into the context of the now. I was in a concentration camp. You never even suffered one minute in your life compared to what I went through. Have you even seen the show? Did you ever see our show? It was called The Holocaust. Look, all I know is I was damn close to that million dollars, all right? And before Larry, there was the great Mel Brooks, the first to recognize revenge through comedy. Hang my set! From to be or not to be to the producers, nothing was sacred. There's no greater dictator in the land. And sometimes revenge isn't about being funny. Sometimes it's just about payback, taking glorious bastards. Sure, it was violent, but it was also loaded with dark comedy. Donnie! Yeah! Gosh, German here wants to dock the country. Oblige him. A reminder that, yes, we can remember history through tears or sometimes laugh in the face of it.